What up, YouTube? It's your boy. I'm back with another video. You already know what it is. Hit the subscribe. Hit the like button. And listen, if this is your first time, I already know why you're here, man. You're tired of releasing on them keyboards, them laptops, and them desktops. And you're tired of being manipulated and dominated by female culture, man. You are in the right place. Guys, let me ask you a question, man. How far are you willing to go for fame and fortune? Is there anything that you are not willing to do in order to have the life that you desire? When you see a lot of these people, man, with, you know, uh, exuberant success, Sometimes you just really don't know what they were willing to do in order to achieve it. A lot of times we are deceived into thinking that certain people have worked really hard and they've cut no corners and we get tricked by seeing the motivational videos of them talking about the struggle or them talking about, you know, they had to get it out the mud and all of it's a lie because they were willing to do something so diabolical in order to get the fame and the fortune. In this video today, I'm going to tell you about a young man who was so desperate to have money and to have fame, he did the unthinkable. And when I tell you it's the unthinkable, it is the unthinkable. And it just goes to show you what the Bible says, it says that the love of money is the root of all evil. People are willing to do evil things to get money, to obtain success, and to obtain fame. And the reality is, is that when the devil gives you what you so desire in exchange for your soul, in exchange for your dignity, in exchange for your self-work, it never lasts. It lasts for just a season. It's not eternal. It lasts for a season. And then he strips you away. He takes what he gave you back. You can never get your dignity back. You can never get your self-respect back. You can never get it back. And you did all of that for nothing. So let's get into this story, man. There was a young man who his mother had died. I guess he fell into a bit of a funk. He never achieved anything in life. And he wanted success. And he wanted it bad. And so he went to this witch, doctor, Sangoma, whatever you want to call it, voodoo priest. And they told him how he could get the fame and how he could get the money if he really, really wanted it. And so the thing that they prescribed to this man was that he dig up the body of his recently deceased mother. She had been deceased about two weeks. They said you need to dig up the body of your deceased mother and have sex with her. If you dig up the body of your deceased mother and you have sex with her, you can have the fame and you can have the riches. I didn't stutter, man. This individual decided that it was worth it to dig up the body of his mother who had died just two weeks ago. And they told him that you had to do it at a particular time. I think he had to do it at midnight. He had to take, I think, seven people with him to, like, 
You know, one, they had to help him dig up the body. And two, they had to watch him do it. So not only did he have to sleep with his deceased mother, a dead corpse, but he had to take seven individuals with him. They had to help him dig up the body and they had to watch him sleep with his mother, with the dead corpse, his mother who gave birth to him, a dead person. This is what he was willing to do for the fame and the fortune. And you have to ask yourself, after you do something like this, how could you ever look yourself in the mirror? How could you ever really enjoy the money? How could you ever really enjoy the fame? And how could you even think that it would last? You can't make this stuff up, man. That's why I'm telling you guys, you have to be real careful about what you are yearning for. Because there's a price. Some people are willing to pay it. Some people are not. And there's and with these type of things, you should never be willing to pay that price because it's not worth it, man. Why would you dig up your a corpse? So he dug, he digs up his mother's body, and he begins to have sex with her with these seven individuals watching him. They were like witnesses. They actually, not only did they here, but here's the thing. This is how you know all this stuff is like ultra demonic. They told him that this was a good idea. His friends, these people was like, yeah, I think if you know, if you want the money, yeah, you might as well just, you know, dig up. Now imagine going to your friends, going to your circle and telling them, man, listen, they said, if I want to get this money, man, I got to dig up my mom's body and I got to have sex with her. Would your friends tell you to do something like this, do something diabolical like that? What are the odds of your friends suggesting that you do something like this? What are the odds? So you know that the spirits that had entered into these men was pure evil. It was a reason why these spirits wanted him to dig up this body and have sex with his deceased mother. For the fame and the fortune. Just so he can ride around in a Lambo. Just so he can ride around in a Range Rover or whatever. You know, just a McLaren. To have a house. To have girls. To have. He did it for that, man. He 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 got a shovel. And he, 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 he dug. He went to his mother's burial site. And he dug her up. Now, the question I want to know is. How do you even get hard for something like that? How do you arouse yourself to dig up a decomposing body? Your mother's body at, at that. How do you hold an erection? How do you pull, take her clothes off and have sex with her? A dead body. You got the, the smell, the disgust, the stench had to be unbearable. How could you watch that? And the, the people that were around him witnessing this, that watched him pull down his pants and penetrate a dead corpse. How could you sit there and watch it? This is demonic. This is pure evil but the but the sad reality is man this type of stuff happens all the time it is not an anomaly people do wicked things like this all the time for fame and fortune this man has sex with his dead mother's body how could you do something like that how could you want and this is and this is this is the thing when satan offers you something he makes you do the most devile scut. This, this is the whole thing with Diddy. Right? You want to get into the music business. He, he was the gatekeeper, right? He was, he was one of the gatekeepers. These dudes would have to pull down their pants, bend over, and touch their toes and let Diddy penetrate them. They have one hit single. They have one hit single. They would disgrace themselves to be famous, to be on a music video. To ride around in a rented Rolls Royce with a chain on and some chicks after getting rammed. 
by the boogeyman. You can't make it up. I'd rather just be living day to day, bro. I, I, I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna cap. I ain't willing to do it. Nope. I ain't willing to do it. Mm -mm. Not at all. Nope. All that diabolical, evil, wicked. No. No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But see, this is what the devil does. He'll make you do something. He'll offer you something. He'll 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 say like, yo, you gotta do this disgusting act. You gotta do this. You gotta do this ritual. You gotta do this, and I give it to you right away. See, this that's the thing about the devil. He gives it to you right away. He give it to you right away. You want the women? You want the cars? You want the money? Do this. Go 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 get this man head, and then let him ram you, and then you you have all the money. You have all the cars. Won't nobody ever know, but you'll be balling out of control. But your whole soul is, is destroyed. You can't look yourself in the mirror. You have nightmares at night because you can't divorce yourself from the man that you have become. You know that when you're in those places and people are admiring you, you know what you, what you did to get it. They don't know what you did to get it, but you know what you did to get it. And you can't live with it. These people commit suicide. These these people they 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 just they just go off the deep end, bro. I've been hearing stories about prominent preachers who, um, you know, or been doing disgusting things behind the scenes. Allegedly, people can lie on you, but these things happen. I wouldn't be shocked if it was true. These things happen. What are you willing to do? Are you willing to sell your soul? Are you willing to do something so diabolical just to have some paper dollars, just to have some, some shiny metals, just to have a few women? I mean, are you willing to do that? Come on, man. Be careful who you admire. Be careful. I've been seeing the situation with Drake. And now he's suing the label because he got he lost his battle with Kendrick Lamar. And I'm like, bro, I don't know why you sued the label. No one wins against the label, bro. I don't care how powerful you think you are. Diddy tried to sue the liquor companies, Russian billionaires. Look what happened to him. Now they're saying that Drake name came up in um, some conversations or a text or a message revolving around, um, dang, what's the kid name that died? XXX, uh, Excentation, I don't know his name, um, but his name is circulating. I'm like, bro, the label will finish you. The label made you. They will destroy you. These people do these acts, they do these rituals, and they get fame and they get fortune, and they start to put their faith and trust in their success, not realizing that it was the devil who gave it to them. It's just like when, when God gives you something, God gives you abilities, he gives you talents, and then you forget about God. When he gave you the talent, when he gave you, he brings you right back low. The devil does the same thing. He'll let you get, he, 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 the devil going to bring you down anyway. But if you get to acting stupid, he's going to bring you down a lot quicker. Just as fast as you went up, it's as fast as you're going to come down. Trying to sue the label. Don't do it. It's too late now. You ain't going to win against the label. You should have just took your L. Not like us. You just should have took the L, bro. Take, take the L. Just bow out. You lost. Don't sue the label. They got dirt on you, man. They made you. But anyways, just want to let you guys know, man, I don't know what they offer you. Don't sell your soul for something so cheap and diabolical and disgrace yourself. Scar yourself for life. You don't want to fight through those challenges. You don't want to you don't want to have that mental war going on. You don't want to deal with that. It's not worth it. This is Hold My Nuts Podcast, man. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Peace.